Hi everyone, Grammy G here, and today I'm going to be reviewing another Lynn Austin book. I've been reading a lot of Lynn Austin, you can tell. And this one is called Chasing Shadows by Lynn Austin, and as you can tell, another library book. I patronize the library a lot, and if you do, and you enjoy reading certain books, make sure you do a suggest to purchase with your library, and they will get books in by your favorite authors if they don't already have them in. Make sure you do that. That way the library knows, oh, obviously they like this book. I'm going to order it in for them. Another thing, too, is I use a, a website called um, Fantastic Fiction. So Fantastic Fiction. And it helps keep your reading organized. So if, you, if you're writing books down on a legal pad, which is what my grandmother used to do, uh, to keep her books organized that she had already read or bought, uh, this way, it's, it's a great website uh, because I have about 64 authors that I read from and, and I'm adding to that list all the time. Well, I'm not going to remember all of their names, but I now have a list of those authors and I can click on their name and see all of their books. And the other thing it helps too is it helps you to see if there's a series of books. So this is a one-off novel. It's not from a series. You don't have to read a book before it to get the story or the characters, uh, which I really like. But this helps you to keep your books organized and know, oh, well, this is book one. So I'm not going to read book two first because it's not going to make sense if I don't read book one first of this particular series. I read a series one time that I think it had 12 or 14 books in the series. It was a long one. It was, it was awesome. Uh, so go to Fantastic Fiction and sign up, it doesn't cost you anything, and I think you can sign up through Facebook if you'd like, and, and make an account, and it will help keep your reading organized, and your authors organized, and you'll also get suggestions from your favorite authors of other authors, which is great, because you'll think, oh, well, Lynn, you know, she recommended so-and-so, uh, I think I'll try one of her books, or his books, and sure enough, you'll be like, oh, wow, I like this author, add that one to your list, so your list can grow. Um, Lynn's book, Chasing Shadows, again, uh, we're, we're in World War II in the Netherlands and uh, in mostly the, the city of Leiden, which uh, I think is pretty cool because that's my youngest granddaughter's middle name is Leiden, and uh, L-E-I-D-E-N, and she's named after the town of Leiden in, in uh, the Netherlands. And uh, it takes you to a few other places too, of course, during World War II. It is inspiring, it is really, it, it doesn't get into a lot of the graphic things that would have happened back then, but it doesn't also sugarcoat the things that happened back then. And what life was like in the Netherlands in particular for people during World War II. And, um, and, and you know, you're reading people's stories here. Now this is a work of fiction, but you know you're reading people's stories that have happened. This, these things happen to these people. This is what life was like back then for these people. And it really makes you stop and think and be thankful for maybe what you didn't have to go through. And maybe some of your, you know, your parents, or maybe yourself, maybe you went through that. I mean, my mother's 99. She's not reading books anymore, but she was right up until about a year and a half ago. And my mother served during World War II, and my dad too. My dad was there when World War II ended. My dad was there. He was, I think my dad was in the English Channel at the time, because he was in the Navy. Mom was Army. And um, mom never served overseas, but she was, she was part of the World War II effort. And, uh, you know, you, maybe you're reading the story of your parents or your grandparents, you know and uh, you're getting a little glimpse into the lives of some of your own family members in this book because that's what life that was that was life during world war ii in the netherlands and, and in other areas of course too um you're also going to see a little tiny glimpse near the mm, close to the end of the book of the other side as well and i'm not going to give anything away as usual i'm not going to give the plot away i'm not going to give any major characters away or anything like that uh, but you're going to see a side that you weren't expecting I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way you'll you'll know it when you read it okay and it's very heart-wrenching 
for one of the main characters and this minor character that she encounters on the road. I'll, I'll tell you that much so you'll know when it comes, okay? And um, yeah, and again, Lynn Austin has everything right historically spot on with this book. Um, and you know, I appreciate that with Lynn that she does a lot of research with her novels. And I really appreciate that. So if you like this and you'd like to see more, and we're not just doing books on this channel, we're doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. And God bless. Take care.